So I'm Charles Scott, um, sort of resident music guy here at Bad Robot, and um, this is our uh, our lovely little studio. Um, and I've been using uh, recently uh, Predator sub boom bass and uh, the RG plugins uh, a bunch. Um, just starting to kind of really get into them. So here's a uh, just a preset. Just this morning I stumbled onto in Predator, um, which is a kind of thing I'm always looking for, like something great for playing chords, but that's not necessarily a slow pad, and I seem to, you know, a lot of synths have these really slow evolving pads, which are great and really pretty, but I think in the in the stuff that's sort of faster tempo or like pop music, the need for something that's sort of, uh, you know, chordal, but kind of happens and gets out of the way, um, sometimes I have a hard time finding those kinds of sounds, and uh, there, there's like dozens of them in here that I was... Uh, going through. Um... go through a couple should I just like go through a bank of presets and just yeah see what this one uh, oh yeah this classic synth one is really cool um, so yeah I, I I tend to go straight into the the classic synth bank um, as I like classic synths um, and uh, All these seem to be like, like all these like Juno based things, like the, just that really nice blend of like the deep sounds with just like you know a little bit of bite. Like these are all things that they kind of don't need a lot of mixing. They kind of just sit in the mix right away. Like a lot of times I'm like, especially in Logic, some of the sort of built in instruments, I'll I'll pull up a sound and sort of know that all right, if I EQ this and I compress it and then I do this, it's gonna I can sort of bend it to fit the mix I'm working in. Um, just a lot of these sound like they're just ready to go. And of course, that's not the uh, one. I'm... And everyone loves arpeggiators. By everyone, I mean at least I do. Um, I mean, you got Duran Duran right there. It's a totally usable pad sound. Like I would stack that with something else, and there's my you know, your, your chord progression. Um, I haven't gotten too much into the actual like. Uh, again, I've just had so much fun playing with the presets. I haven't really dug into the interface that much, um, but. I feel I, it's not an intimidating interface. Um, it feels like all the controls are there, but um, I would just, you know, I don't want this to be, I'm not knocking on this, but um, like one of my favorite synths in Logic is the, uh, the ES2, but it's the most confusing interface. It has this rotating wheel that, um, no, no one knows what that does. Um, it makes some really cool sounds, but uh, 
Anyway, um, so yeah, Predator, great presets. Uh, it's uncluttered. Um, that's not it. Um, Do you want to maybe show <clears throat> the RG just for yeah, a second too? Sure. So, yeah, the RG is really cool. I mean, like, I'm a guitar player, but, um, you know, sometimes, like, throwing down an idea, like, in a sequence really quick with a guitar can take a while, especially if it's something like an acoustic guitar where you have to set up the mics, you kind of have to get your whole signal chain put together, and, you know, sometimes then, the, like, the idea is gone. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll often, rather than recording acoustic guitar, I'll record a voice note on my iPhone of me playing it just so I don't forget it, and then I'll do it later. And with the RG having both like electric and acoustic sounds like right there and these like, you know, rhythmic patterns, like strumming things, uh, some of which are really unconventional. Um, it's cool not only to be able to play ideas like I already sort of have, but also just sort of stumble again, like the, the cool thing about presets is sort of stumbling onto a sound that you didn't think of. And, you know, it's, it's obviously it's, it's tempo synced. Um, You know, on the keyboard to have the you know major chords in one area, and kind of the you know minor seven chords, and that would be our minor seven, I guess. Um, and let's pull up one of the acoustic uh, sounds. Electric, uh, steel string, here we go. You know, some of these are really effecty, some of them are... Some of them sound more like a straight guitar than others. Um, What, what became clear to me was once I actually put a couple of these together and, and put them up in a track, like, they're not necessarily, like, they're not a, it's not a hyper-sampled, super-realistic acoustic simulator. It's more, but it's, in some ways, it's a lot more usable than that, because um, soloed, the track might not sound like someone, you know, strumming a guitar in the most natural way, but it really um, sits in the mix. They're tonally just right on. <laughs> I think this is actually one of the presets I used uh, the other day, and uh, you know, and then to just have that as a tempo locked thing and be able to still be playing with the tempo of the song and stuff and not worry about that—it's really cool. Um,